Hello, and welcome to Winmot Tutorials. In this video, I will discuss a technique of PID tuning to use when tuning your Linmot linear motor. Prior to PID tuning of your motor, you should first be familiar with implementing motion. To do this, I would recommend first checking out the Your First Move video, as well as the curves or command table videos. Additionally, you should be familiar with how to run an oscilloscope trace in Linmont Talk. For this video, I set up a trigger on X4.6 to trigger a command table sequence. To begin, I will switch on my drive. I will then home the motor. X4.6 has already been configured as a trigger to trigger a command table sequence that executes a quick out and back motion. Next I will go to the oscilloscope and run an initial trace of the actual versus demand position. I've set up my channels to display the actual position and the demand position, set it to trigger at 10 millimeters, and I set a pre-trigger of 10%. I click record and I run my trigger to execute the command table sequence. After recording, this is the graph that I get. You see that it's good, but there's definitely room for improvement. So I will go to the motor wizard as the first step on improving this actual versus demand. We can see here that no slider has been defined. You click down on the drop down menu and you select the proper slider as is listed in your bill of materials or your purchase order. I have selected the slider being used in this system and I click next. I will enter the type of cable that I'm using in the system. It is a K15.8 meter cable. Click next. There's no external position sensor. Click next. Step five is very important for tuning your motor. Uh, first, you wanna make sure you have the proper orientation angle, whether it be top down, horizontal, or bottom up. Uh, this will play a big effect on your feed forward parameters. So mine is hor oriented horizontally. Another thing you want to pay attention to is the additional load mass. Uh, my system is just a demo system. There's no tooling, so it'll be zero grams. Uh, it's best to check the friction as well. Uh, my system is a very low friction system, so I'll enter two newtons. There's no external constant force. It's not pressing against anything constantly. Click next. I like to start with the default soft parameters and tune it stiffer and stiffer. Note that these may change later. Click next. Click next. Finish through the motor wizard. I'll stop the firmware and reboot the drive. However, it might make you wait to reboot the drive so it could finish writing the parameters. Just have to wait a little bit and then try clicking the reboot button again. All the parameters have been written so it is able to reboot the drive. Once the drive is back online, we can run another oscilloscope trace. So I've titled this one after the motor wizard. Click record, then I'll go back to X4.6 to execute the command table sequence. We'll go back to the oscilloscope trace and we'll see the new curve. So comparing it with the initial, we can see that it has clearly gotten better.
However, this could still be slightly improved upon. So next we will go to the PID parameters because we see that it is lagging slowly uh, from the demand position. So we'll go to motion control SW, position controller, and then control parameter set selection. We see that it's set to set A. So we go to the parameters for set A and we'll try increasing P to three amps per millimeter. So now it should follow a little more tightly with the demand position. We'll now trigger one more scope trace to start. We'll go back to the control panel and trigger X4.6 to begin our command table sequence once more. We'll now look at the new scope trace and see that it has improved even more. So from the initial to after motor wizard to after the tuning, we can see that it has improved each time. This process can be used iteratively in order to create the best PID tuning parameters for your motor. I hope this helps. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.